Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. This is my favorite thing to do in the game. Yes, I know I play a lot of arena, but I love ranking up champions. I just do. Now, in this video, we've got four champions for you guys. And we've got a nice little spread. <clears throat> the first one is going to rank three. The second one is going to rank four. And then the last two are going to rank five. So I got two new rank fives and a new rank four and another uh, rank three. All right. Now, if you think you can guess any of them, let me know in the comments below. And uh, a couple of them should be pretty easy if you follow me. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up is going to be Deathless Guillotine. Now, I finished my path in the Necropolis. For completion, you get the seven star. Uh, when you get, you know, you get a seven star piece. But if you've done everything, uh, you'll get the seven star and the six star. So I completed all the requirements for the seven star. And I also got the six star. Now, of course, I'm going to, you know, be using the seven star over the six star. But it's a champion that's very unique, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll take her up to rank three. Probably would not take her to rank four. Um, but I do use her in arena. So I don't use any of my rank one or rank two champions. So taking her to rank three means she's eligible for arena, okay? That's kind of my thinking uh, there. Now, I might take the other uh, guillotine, my seven star, to rank uh, two. I don't know yet. Uh, but one thing I do know about this uh, guillotine, which I didn't know before uh, I started using her, was that, you know, with the original uh, guillotine, she did bleed damage. You can see here, I'm looking and I, I got that two to three uh, rank up gem, but I have the resources. So may as well use them. Um, but the OG guillotine, or just regular guillotine, I guess, uh, does bleed damage. This one does degen damage. So she can be used against uh, bleed immune champions. And I don't think a lot of champions are degen immune. You know, you've got uh, Spider-Ham, who I think is resistant. I don't think he's immune. Um, I'm trying to remember who else. I can't remember, but there's someone else who is immune to degen. Uh, but anyway, those are my thoughts for Deathless Guillotine. All right, now, for the first rank four of the video, or the only rank four of the video, and this one is interesting, but I think y'all will agree. Uh, that uh, this one is going to be Shuri. Okay. Now, Shuri does exist as a seven star. And she is one of my most wanted champions as a seven star. I am eventually going to go through the Necropolis and, um, you know, explore it. And she does very good on some paths, right? But there's one thing about Shiri that will make her useful even now, even in next season in Alliance War as well. And that is her ability to block special attacks. She can block special attacks. Okay? Now, she can only block special attacks when she's awakened. So even if I got the seven star Shuri, who will definitely be useful in Necropolis, that bit of utility, see, you, you can see it right there. Um, I want. So taking her to rank four was definitely 
a no-brainer. Now, eventually, the seven-star will uh, take her place once I get that seven-star awakened and all that good stuff. But here's something else I did. I decided to ascend her. So she's not rank five yet. Yet. But she's ascended now. So you'll see me using her eventually. All right. Now, the first rank five of the video is El Diablo. Now, let me tell you about my Diablo. El Diablo started out trash. I mean, it was bad. Then they reworked him and they made him perfect for running the ouchie masteries. You know, recoil, double edge, liquid courage. When he's poisoned, he has some serious damage resistance and all that good stuff. And my Diablo is SIG 200. I know that Diablo is available as a seven star. Um, he's either available now or he will be. But that awakened ability for me is huge. And I'll be using the rank four, or I mean the rank five now, um, long before I use the seven star when I finally get him. And I also wanted to check something out. My path in AQ requires me to put debuffs on my uh, opponents, right? I wanted to see how he performed. Let me tell you. I cleared the entire path in section one, and he's at full health. And he got hit, because I was still getting used to, you know, playing him. But he got hit, but he heals up. He is very sustainable for me. Now, he can still go down. You know, if I really mess up bad and it's like, bah, 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 you know, hit me with a special three, all that good stuff. Yeah, but he's more difficult to take down than some of the other champions I was using. All right. Now, you can see here, I did this one before I did Shuri because I still have that dust. Okay. But this was my rank five. Now, this next rank five, and I'm showing you the uh, signature ability, uh, but the next rank five, I think you all agree is awesome, and it is Scorpion. Now, I actually took Scorpion up a while ago, before um, Shuri, before uh, Diablo. I actually took him up around the time that I took up Deathless Guillotine. This guy is freaking awesome. A lot of people consider him the best science champion. He's so versatile. And he does so well in so many different places. Okay? He's got a lot of different ways he can damage you. He is beautiful. He's got immunities. I took him into Battlegrounds. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I did with Scorpion against one of the most difficult defenders in Battlegrounds this season. Okay? But I ascended this guy a while back. So that was your hint. If I ascended him a while back, chances are he going up. So you know Shiri is going to be going up. So next time you see a video, you know she's going up, right? Anyway. Uh, that is going to do it, and I will uh, end this video, and I'm going to take his uh, SIG up. Him and Shuri are now getting all of my uh, stones, all right? Uh, but end of the video, you'll get to see that uh, fight, all right? So take care, uh, like, and subscribe, y'all, and you all have a blessed day. Yeah, you got to think about this one. Yep, I knew that was what you were going to do. This meta is better than the last one. I'll tell you that. Torch. That might be a good one. I don't know.
That went beautifully. That went perfectly. Exactly the way I planned it.